Oi, eu sou a Má, eu já tô na Irlanda há 10 anos e hoje eu convidei alguns dos meus amigos gringos pra provar mais um prato super, super tradicional brasileiro que eu tenho certeza que muita gente aqui não tinha provado ou não conhecia por esse nome, como era meu caso. É um prato de origem indígena que é a paçoca de carne seca. Eu queria agradecer muito pro meu amigo queridíssimo Pedro do Wigwam e também pro Lucas que tornaram possível essa experiência pros nossos amigos e ainda me ensinaram um monte de coisa legal que eu não sabia sobre a nossa cultura brasileira. Vamos lá agora conferir o que os gringos acharam da paçoca de carne seca. Uhul! Olá, amigos! Olá, bom dia! Hey, Ma, how are you? So happy to be here again. Eu sou batata. E eu sou Jane. <laughs> Boring compared to batata, but it's okay. My name is Vivi, I'm from Greece. You should know this by now. Johnny from Dublin, Ireland, Dublin too at the moment. We are here in Wigwam, guys, and we are at tasting delicious food from Chef Pedro. And I don't know what's coming next. We'll see in a second. <laughs> Sorry, Brazil, I have to get my old man glasses. I hope you get a bit old now. So, let's see. Ba Basuka? Basuka, I'd say as well, yeah. You're very good. Oh, yeah? It's not even funny. <laughs> Pachoca, pachoca, pachoca. Oh, no. Pachoca? Pachoca e carne seca. Pachoca is going to sound so, so funny to Sorry for butchering the Portuguese language. Yes, sorry guys, yes, yes. I'll give you some context now. Look, for me, paçoca is a sweet thing in Brazil, okay. right? But I just recently found out, thanks to Chef Pedro, that it's actually a traditional indigenous dish. Oh! Okay, yeah, so the, the Indians right? would have... Yeah. It has its origin in the indigenous culture and it's traditionally made with cassava flour and dried cured beef. So the word pasoca comes from the Tupi language, so the original indigenous language from yeah. Brazil. And pava means to finish and soca means to punch. It's like it's referring to the way that they would usually make this in the past, like mixing the ingredients and punching them. It's more traditional in the northeast and north mm -hmm. of Brazil, especially in Roraima, the state of Roraima, even though there are different versions in the south and southeast of Brazil as well. And that would be like a starter, a main course? It depends on like the region because a lot of people would eat this as like part of their, you know, traditional like day-to-day -day meals. Yeah. If I eat this in Sao Paulo, for instance, yeah, I'll probably be having a snack in a gourmet bar or something because it would not be common there. I am very intrigued as well because uh, our lovely chef here, he's very creative. <gasps> oh my God, it's so cute. Okay. Presentation. Wow. It's beautiful. Oh. oh this is like... The, I like the presentation. Congrats. With hands, okay. Yeah? yeah? Fantastic. By the way, guys, Chef Pedro gave me permission to eat with my fingers. Oh, because indigenous people used to eat with their fingers, so. Fair. So it's that same kind of style. Okay, let's do it. Oh, this is so good. We, we, you, we use our hands, right? Yeah, yeah perfect. Please. You okay. don't mind? No, of course not. Ah, I taste the cured beef there, which I love. The taste of the meat inside is amazing. It tastes like, um, um, you know in French we call it chapelure? In English they call that breadcrumbs, but it's not really breadcrumbs. It's better than that. What the hell is going on in my mouth? This is the first time ever in E Dublin where I have to take a second a chunk of food just to try and give an analysis because I'm very, very confused. Usually farofa is really salty and I was scared with the dry meat that it would be as well, but the, the balance there is perfect. Like it's really not too salty at all. It's mm -hmm. just... <laughs> Thanks to the chef. It's an unusual way, like it's an ancient way of eating. Mm. So, mm. excuse me if I pour it into my mouth. The more you eat, <laughs> the more addictive it gets. Seriously. It's very tasty. It's surprising because dry meat can be dry, that's the name, dry meat. But it's not at all, like it doesn't mm -hmm. stuck in your throat, it doesn't stuck in your mouth, it's mm -hmm. just so, so nice. I like this, I like the texture. If the food doesn't have texture, it's boring. 
And this is definitely not boring. I, I don't know if it's because I feel guilty by eating with my hands. No, I shouldn't because we eat crisps or in American English, we say potato chips, but in Ireland, we say crisps. But my brain is confused because I'm not used to picking up this texture with my fingers. And once it's in my mouth, it's, it reminds me of the sensation I had the first time I had falafa alone or by itself. But this time the seasoning obviously is different to falafa. It's amazing. But I'm so used to like, when I say food is amazing, I'm used to like saying like the food in a meat style is amazing or a salad style or a rice style this time it, it's it's in this kind of texture it's absolutely mind-boggling brain twistingly beautiful i love it so what um, is this core for that um, one you know to let me think <laughs> give me another one and i'll give you a score <laughs> a five and a five, which makes ten. <laughs> ten, guys. Ten, Def definitely ten. It's delicious. I'm, I'm, I can't give like anything less, you know, because I do enjoy the creativity. I mean, I, I'm not joking. I'm not like here to be like, ah, oh, yeah, Vivi, you like everything. Guys, seriously, ten out of ten. The extra marks, I would say, because a little tip of the hat to the indigenous community. Absolutely fantastic. Love it. I give it a twelve. I give it thirteen, just not to do like Jan, <laughs> just to be different. <laughs> It's because it's delicious. Why can I give? I can't give like a less score. I love it. This, pit. this is very new flavor to me, and I love what I'm eating. I'm tasting it. I could have more and more and more. Give me that little bit. Uh, you see? Someone else is loving this as well. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And amigo, what should people do if they want to see you back to try more amazing food here at Wigwam? Well, first of all, if you live in Dublin, make sure you come to Wigwam on Abbey Street. You can just uh, follow Dublin. Follow Wigwam Instagram. Say, Chef Pedro, keep cooking because you're amazing at what you do and it's so delicious. Volta de potato, Volta Jean, Volta de Frenchies, or the Francesas. Well, they say Volta Johnny. They want to see me back here and. Volta Vivi, they want to see me back here again to try delicious Brazilian tastes. If you want to see me come back, make sure you write down Volta Ross, Volta Gringos. Make sure all my friends come back and let us try all this amazing food. And also check me out on Instagram, talk to Ross. And also, E Dublin, of course, my good friends who keep on inviting me back and letting me on their amazing channel. So thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye. E aí, o que vocês acharam? Eu vou confessar que a primeira vez que eu vi paçoca de carne seca, eu fiquei um pouco confusa, porque na região do Brasil onde eu moro, paçoca é um doce feito de amendoim. Então, me conta aí se você já sabia que paçoca de carne seca era esse prato, se você já comeu antes, ou se paçoca pra você também é outra coisa, como docinho de amendoim, ou até talvez uma coisa que eu nem conheça. E se você tá em Dublin, ou está indo pra Dublin, ou mora na Irlanda, se você gosta de comida boa, corre lá no Instagram, e sigam a página do Wigwam para você ver as outras delícias que o chefe Pedro criou lá para o menu desse restaurante que fica lá no centro de Dublin e serve comidas deliciosas. Vocês já viram algumas aqui no canal e em breve, inclusive, vai ter mais. Então segue a página do Wigwam lá no Instagram e confere todas as deliciuras deles. Não esquece de curtir, compartilhar, se inscreve no canal, segue a gente no Instagram, inclusive, também para acompanhar tudo que a gente posta lá. E a gente se vê muito em breve no próximo vídeo. Um beijinho enorme. Tchau!